It was teenage war on the home front. Authority. I get stoned every day. You're a until they were sent to the world's strictest parents. I'm horrified and disgusted with you. It's what about you, you becoming a better person. I'm going to give with this punishment and we are going to do it. For a week, they fought tough rules and discipline. Oh. Every step of the way. Well, we say goals. I really don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> but now they're home. Hello, thank you, Tom. Have our Aussie teens really changed? Has used up his nine lives. Are they perfect little angels? They rid my daughter of, of a lot of demons. Or do they still have the devil inside? You've got 48 hours to pack your bags. And for some, it will be an amazing reunion. <laughs> it's hard to explain how you can have gratitude for people you've never met. In the year 10 school book, I was voted the um, biggest smart ass and also the biggest party animal. She tells me I'm a horrible mother. She's been possessed by something. Don't go near my bag. She's just someone that lives in my house. 17 year old Emily had quit school. I'll tell you. And taken control of the family home. When mum's at work, I get my friends over and we play drinking games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once I turned 13, it sort of got bad because mum started taking up a job. She was away a lot. I can't enforce anything because I'm not here. Today, Emily is doing something that would have been unthinkable just five months ago. She's preparing to go back to school. Me and mum are going shopping for school uniforms for my new school. Um, we're going to get some school supplies, like books and pens and stuff, and then we're going to go out for lunch. I got back from Ireland and seeing the kids over there and how academically driven they were, it sort of made me think, I have to do something. So I specifically sought out a strict school. I really need someone constantly on my ass to do something. Earlier this year, Emily was sent to Ireland. Hello. This is Evelyn. Hello. For a crash course in traditional Catholic values for Remove that pier, those two piercings. I'm not taking them out. Yeah, but you also said that you'd try it our way for the week. That looks horrendous. It's disgusting. Take out the whole lot, no, please. I'm not taking it out. Come on. Emily, these are not your decisions. Yeah. They are my decisions. No, I have to wear them in my face. I was adamant I was not taking them out. There was no way. It's staying in. And I knew I was fighting a losing battle. I had to take them out. It looks worse with just the hole. That's OK. Since no, that day, Emily's had no piercings. I don't really want them anymore. They were old Emily, not new Emily, so I just didn't get them re-pierced. I think that's the senior uniform there. No this piercings, the back to school. Um, we're looking for school uniforms. And that's just the yeah, start sure. of the Commons' impact on Emily. Sure. Because when I was over there, I saw that there's obviously something wrong with my relationship with Mum, with my relationship with my family, and with how I go about doing things. Show to Mama. <laughs> Well, that's good. The Coleman kids, oh, no. they act like teenagers, but in a more respectful way to their parents. And then I, you know, I sort of saw that. I was like, well, I can still be a teenager, but I can also be a daughter as well. I like the pants. I think that looks a lot smarter and a lot neater. I'm amazed with what the Coleman's were able to achieve in a week. I like this uniform. I like it. I think it looks pretty smart. It makes me feel smart. I'd love the opportunity to meet them, to say thank you. I don't know what you did, but thank you. Leanne and Emily are about to get their chance. Hi guys, are you ready to order? Emily was barely on speaking terms with her mum. Garlic bread. But that was before she went away to Ireland. Um, we talk to each other and we can actually go out and have these days when we go shopping and we have lunch and stuff because it's so much easier to be around each other now and not, not as tense as it was. I've pretty much got by the Emily I like. It's fantastic. Mum Leanne owes it all to Emily's host family. The fact that they loved her and I love them for that. That they could see the real Emily. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Emily's role model in Ireland was the eldest daughter, Evelyn. I really clicked with Evelyn. It was like 
We weren't even strangers. We just, we'd known each other forever. So fat. Yeah, just big bones. <laughs> when she came first, I thought maybe she was a bit on edge and just unbalanced, and I think now she's a lot more balanced. Throughout this week, she's become like uh, my fourth sister. We've learned to trust each other. And now right. we're just really close and, you know, we have a lot of fun and, you know, I really value our relationship. You just have to come back and visit. Some. I will. I promise to come back and visit or to Pinky make you promise. Guys. I just only want good things for her and uh, I think I'll really miss her. I hope we stay in contact in the future. Evelyn's been talking about maybe making a trip over here because she has some family in Perth. Like maybe towards the end of the year or the start of the next year, she's like, I might see if I can get some money together and, you know, come over and stay with you for a little bit. Well, Evelyn has brought her trip forward and Emily has no idea. So I've just arrived in Sydney and I'm going to go to Emily's house. She doesn't actually know that I'm coming at all, so it's going to be a really big surprise. <laughs> Um, I have to go up to the school and grab those books and everything that they're sending over for me before I start. The two friends have stayed in regular contact. I'm delighted that she's made these changes in her life and, and decided to go back to school and, you know, be a bit more proactive than she was. But at the same time, I hope she hasn't changed too much because I, I loved the old Emily just the way she was. <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to seeing her. I know a few friends that do master you. That I can get to come help me. Oh! I was in the area. I said I'd call by. <laughs> Oh, it's really long. It's really so cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Yeah. I'm just popping by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm staying with you, actually, for the week. <laughs> you said okay, Mum? <laughs> no. I've been oh, so shaky. <laughs> I'm so excited that she's here. Like, I really never thought that we would see each other so soon. And now that she's here, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I can't even explain it. I'm just happy. And I heard you're galloping. I galloped up a little hill. Really? Like it was like rocks and like up a little cliff. Oh, well maybe we can do that sometime during the week. Yes. Yeah. Apparently. I'm so glad she was able to make the trip, and I hope her and him have a ball. You did bring it. Yeah. I did. did you think I had? Ooh. The jacket that you used to wear every single day. So put it on. You look like a real pro. Thank you. It makes my riding better, I think, <laughs> when I wear my jacket. I don't think I'm a completely different person. Like, I still sometimes get angry and irritated, but so much better than I was before. Whenever me and Mum get in a fight, I always think, what would Evelyn say? And then I sort of try and calm down and talk to Mum instead of yelling at her. <laughs> I'm so glad you came, Evelyn. I know, I am too. This is gorgeous. You changed my life, Evelyn. You really did. I'm not just saying that. Thanks. It's helped yeah, you me you understand my mum better and it's helped me build a better relationship with my mum. Like, we're still not perfect, but we're so much better than we are and I don't think we would be at that stage without the show. When I think about how Emily was before and how she is now, I don't know, I feel like I did when she was born, full of hope. That's it, that's it, I don't know. Just full of hope, knowing that she's got so much ahead of her that she can achieve and she hasn't given up. And that's, that's the best thing, that hope that I had for her when she was born.